Welcome to the Red Dot System Knowledge and Sales Tools. The objectives for this presentation. Major components within the AC system and system operation overview. Component knowledge. Supporting components. Sales tools. And key takeaways. Here we have a typical system. Starting from the left, we have the condenser. This looks a lot like the vehicle's cooling system radiator. It is mounted right in front of the radiator and dissipates heat from the AC system. Then we have the compressor clutch assembly. These are mounted anywhere on the front of the engine and is driven by a belt. The receiver dryer is the canister looking item and can be mounted anywhere there is space on the vehicle and is usually very easy to find in the engine compartment. The expansion valve is usually mounted on the bulkhead of the vehicle cab and can be found by following the AC system hoses as they are attached to it. The evaporator is mounted inside the cab and is out of sight. Here we discuss the AC system operation. AC systems are sealed, under pressure, and charged with a measured amount of refrigerant known as Freon. The system has two different calculated pressures. These are referred to as low side and high side pressure. When the system is on, the compressor compresses the refrigerant and creates the high pressure needed to operate. The refrigerant is sent to the condenser to have the heat removed. The high pressure refrigerant then goes to the receiver dryer and gets filtered prior to entering the thermal expansion valve. As refrigerant flows through the valve, the pressure drops, creating low pressure. The evaporator captures heat from the air blowing across its fins in the cab and the refrigerant carries that heat back through the valve, back to the compressor, and the system cycle is complete and simply repeats for as long as the system demand requires it based on how the controls are set by the user. Repeated compressor failures. Compressor manufacturer statistics show that replacement compressors fail four times as frequently as the original equipment compressor. This is largely due to all the contamination not being removed from the system after a failure and the use of improper procedures. Compressor lubrication. Oil is carried through the system by being suspended in the refrigerant. Only approximately 5% of the refrigerant and oil mixture is actually oil. System leaks will eventually deprive a compressor of its oil, resulting in a lockup of the compressor. Receiver dryer. Dryers need to be replaced every time the system is opened. Its function is to remove moisture from the system, filter refrigerant, stores refrigerant, and the receiver dryer should be changed on any mobile AC system at least once a year or any time the system is opened up for any reason. Why is moisture bad in an AC system? R12 plus water equals hydrochloric acid and R134 plus water equals hydrofluoric acid. Here we have a receiver dryer that has been cut open for inspection. Please note how much corrosion is present in this image. This same corrosion is happening throughout the whole AC system if moisture is present. It literally corrodes from the inside out. The thermal expansion valve also referred to as the TXV, its function is to meter refrigerant flow, changes the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant. The TXV is a refrigerant throttle of the refrigerant flow into the evaporator core. What can go wrong with it? Prone to system contaminants due to a very small valve opening. The condenser, its function is to remove and dissipate heat Starting the heat removal process, condenses gas back into a liquid. There are three condenser types, the serpentine, tube and fin, and multi-flow. Please note the density of the cooling fins from one condenser to the other. The one on the left has very densely packed fins. If an AC system has a catastrophic failure, it is highly recommended that all major components be replaced. The reason is because it's impossible to remove all the metal debris from such tight nooks and crannies inside the condenser. The evaporator core. What does it do? It absorbs heat via the rule of convection. It dehumidifies the air and filters the air, sometimes with additional filtration. The evaporator core is out of sight as it's mounted within the dash of most vehicles. Cab filters. These come in many shapes and sizes, but all do one basic but very important function. They filter the air. In severe cases, it is possible to plug the fins of the evaporator if debris builds up. 
If airflow between the fins is restricted, the HVAC system cannot function properly. The obvious effects will be lack of heat or cooling. Supporting system components. We have thermostats, refrigerant hoses, water and heater valves, pressure switches, blower motors, and condenser fans, all very important to a properly functioning HVAC system. Red Dot offers several tools to help you help your customer with our catalog, mobile app, new equipment brochures, sales sheets, compressor lookup tool, and our new receiver dryer lookup tool, all readily available at your dealer portal. Key takeaways. Every time an HVAC system is serviced, the receiver dryer needs to be replaced. Replacement compressors fail four times as frequently as the original equipment compressor. This is largely due to all the contamination not being removed from the system and the use of improper procedures. If the system has experienced a catastrophic failure, encourage all major components to be replaced. This drastically improves contaminants being removed and improves system lifespan and performance. Red Dot Distributors are your one-stop shop for all makes HVAC parts and service. Regardless of the brand of equipment you operate, Red Dot has everything you need to deliver because Red Dot is built to survive.